Ali says it's financial indiscipline for Tinubu to spend 1 billion naira in building hostels in 12 Nigerian tertiary institutions and 6 billion naira for National Assembly car parks. Obi, in a series of posts on X platform on Monday, blasted President Tinubu's government for budgeting 1 billion naira for construction of hostels in 12 tertiary institutions across the country while it budgeted the sum of 6 billion naira for the National Assembly car park. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party, LP, in the 2023 general election, Peter Obi, has said that the president, Bola Tinobu led the Nigerian government, is submerged in financial indiscipline. Obi, in a series of posts on Monday, blasted Tinubu's government. The former Anambra state governor expressed concern over Nigeria's education system, saying that the global average of, of secondary school enrollment is above 80%, while in Nigeria it is 28%, and that the global average of tertiary school enrollment is above 55%, while Nigeria is less than 15%. In the post titled Giant of Africa, Obi said that it is time for the Nigerian government to stop financial indiscipline and embrace financial discipline by prioritizing the allocation of resources to the critical areas of human and national development. He said, as the giant of Africa, which we are, I remain concerned about our fiscal indiscipline as a nation. Imagine the situation in our education sector where the global average of secondary school enrollment is above 80%, while in Nigeria it is 28%. The global average of tertiary school enrollment is above 55%, while Nigeria is less than 15%. Yet our budget for the National Assembly car park is 6 billion naira. The budget for the National Assembly Recreational Facility is 4 billion naira. Approved for the construction of hostels in 12 tertiary institutions is just 1 billion naira. It is time for us to stop this financial indiscipline and embrace financial discipline by prioritizing the allocation of resources to the critical areas of human and national development. And this is the news for this morning. Make you listen to some of the comments below. At Henry said, it is not financial indiscipline, but financial tiffly. At Oscar O'Black said, financial indiscipline for governor who saved the state money to his family business company and built beer factory that is not functioning. At Kelvin said, is the National Assembly car park the responsibility of Tinubu? NAS is responsible for its own finances and budget. At Iketuku said, that's why we are crawling as a country. Misplacement of priority is the order of the day in Nigeria. And at Adelodon said, obviously, this bitter Obi and his gang of tribesmen commenting are still in severe pains. Chai, as Siraju Sabi made them sad, oh, as they pepper them like anything. I love this. At Jerry and he replied to at Adelogo, it's obvious that you have lost your sense of reasoning. What did he say that is wrong? How can a sensible government budget 2 billion for 12 or 1 billion for 12 hostels in Nigeria University and budget 6 billion for car park and extra 4 billion for recreational center for thieves in National Assembly and you want Obi to keep quiet. Tribal sentiment is killing Nigeria but truth is truth. No matter how deep people like you try to bury the truth, it must rise up and cry for justice. Try and buy sense.
and this is the news these are the comments from some of the netizens online and that's the news for today as we've seen that the government of Tinubu is currently but has currently budgeted one billion era for hostels in 12 tertiary institutions six billion era to build the national assembly car park and four billion era for recreational activities in the national assembly don't forget to like this video comment under this video and subscribe to this channel to get more news from this channel